In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit the audio and looking at how you can um, edit individual files as well as ed editing groupings of uh, audio together as well. And the first thing I need to look at is about top and tailing the beginning. And it's important I've got the edit link selection there set up because what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in uh, somewhere around here because I want to lose this part here at the beginning. And the way I can go about that is then to go up to the top and I've got it in slip at the moment. But what I'm going to do is just highlight it here. I'm going to then put it into shuffle. So F1 and then hit backspace. And you'll notice that all the audio tracks, if I zoom out now, everything has moved along uh, as it should to the beginning. So I've now got a quicker intro to the, before the, the music starts. I've got to wait and that kind of then eliminates that issue. I now want to start getting into top and tailing the audio. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to deal with the, the bass guitar first because that's the first individual channel. What I will do is then after that is work on the drums and I'll show you how to do that as a group. So there's different ways I can do it. I can go to the bottom left hand corner, go to the trim and I can drag and then take it to the beginning of that piece of audio and that looks pretty good and let go. Now see what's happened there is that because it's still in shuffle mode, it's then moved that piece of audio to the beginning of the track uh, to bar one. The other thing it will do is if there uh, edits and cuts throughout that track and everything, it will then butt the pieces of audio up together. So that's something we don't want here. I want it to start where it is. Otherwise, it can be very dangerous and you can start moving audio that you don't want to. So it's really important when you've done this first shuffle edit is then to turn the shuffle off. I can then put it into slip, however, and move that and do the same thing, and it stays where it is. So that's one way of doing it. Uh, I can also do it in grid mode, so do F4. And if I come here and then just zoom into that more, we can see that's where I want it to be. Now, I'm going to have an issue in a minute when I start to get close to that. So I'm just going to go out and then zoom in again to show you. Go here. Now, I'm in grid mode. So what that means is that when I drag this across, it will pull it to the grid that I've set. Well, that's no good because it's now cutting out the audio that the beginning I want. However, I can come out of grid mode temporarily by holding the command key and I can now move freely and just then put the edit there and then let go of it. And I'm still in grid mode as well. The thing is, it will snap back to the grid where you set it there. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, incidentally, you can put it into, press F4 again, you get relative grid, and then it will put it relative each time there. So you can see it's not bang on the grid line, it's relative to where it is in, in position. So that's something to bear in mind. So that's grid. The other way is I could do tab to transients. So that's making sure that the tab to transient is selected and then by pressing the tab key I can then take it to the transient command E puts the break in uh, the audio so it puts the edit point and I can click on that and backspace it um, I'm going to also put it back into slip mode for the minute and you'll notice that it takes it possibly a bit too early so I am going to just bring that back out that looks like a good edit point to me so that's being able to edit the file and then you can work your way through as well so if you want to edit more out of the rest of the, the, the gaps and stuff you could go through and then start putting those edits in here and you, for cleaning up the tracks because these are all bits of background noise potentially and bleed if they're using if you're using a microphone so i can go through that and work my way and do the same with the guitars and then the vocals as well now if i want to edit the drums what i've got to do here is actually uh, treat them as a whole together. So what I'm going to do is click on that kick and I'm going to shift click on the mono room. So that's the last one of the drums. And then I'm going to use command G, which is group. So what I'm going to do is just put these into a group. First thing I need to do is name it. So drums. The default is alphabetical, but I'm going to put D for drums. You can change this. Uh, I'm going to leave it mix and edit. And 
these show me the things that are in the group. I can add stuff by clicking on this and then add it. And just likewise, I can remove it. So I'm happy with that. And you'll see that on the left here, now under groups, it's populated by the drums. When I select the um, short, uh, you know, shortcut com or keyboard command focus, when I press D, that turns that on and off. So at the moment that is off. And when I press it and highlight it, that is now on. So what that now means is all the drums are edited together. So if I click here, wherever it picks up by tabbing to the transient, it will pick up the transient within the audio. And if I zoom into that a bit more, I'm uh, going to turn the key or focus on there. You can see that there's a hi-hat part. This is the first one and then the second one. And I'm going to put a command E and a cut there and then hit backspace and I can delete that. What you need to remember is when you've finished doing that is to um, then remove and turn off the edit. So you can just click on it and do that. So that's editing the audio. And the other thing is, is that we've done the top end of it. The tail is located down the, at the end of the song. So that's hence the term top and tail. I can just come out a bit of there and find where the end of the song is. So I've got my drums on and I can then bring the ending up there. I could just put a cut here and just remove that and backspace. I'm gradually work my way through just so I tidy up all the ends of the songs and anything else in the track. Okay, so that's how you edit the audio.